right. <laughs> we're going back and we're gonna put our swim trunks on. We're gonna jump in that uh, the pool because today. It's well earned today. Oh yeah, hot and sweaty day today. 100%. Yeah. smile it's just way better yeah you like jalapenos and banana peppers and stuff oh yeah that's why when you said all that i was like mm. and then you said cilantro i was like i yeah. feel like all i need is some meat and i'm gonna make it some tacos yeah <laughs> well that's what i said i was like i'm gonna use that as like a little um taco garden pretty much yeah a little salsa because cool. there's a couple of them on there they're already ready to be picked um, I made some about this on its own. Good morning, guys. Uh, so, last night, kind of had a thing. I slept through the entire time. So, I'll let you kind of explain. Uh, where to start with that? Yeah, you definitely slept through it. <laughs> I did not. Um, thought I was going to the tent. Super sleepy. Going to call it an early night. And uh, the dogs barked. I slept through the entire thing, entire night. Thought it was just the neighbor's dog. Saw the neighbor's dog, barking still continued, second, third time, chased the dog <laughs> off, tried to go to sleep again. Then all of a sudden I heard like a snapping, heard the dog's like loud commotion, literally right outside my tent. Right outside, right between ours. Yeah, so basically her tent's right there and then mine's over here in the tiny house right now, but couldn't figure out what it was had a weird feeling it was probably a snake like we had seen earlier maybe it was just fresh on my mind kept hearing like a weird snapping kind of sound dogs are going around in circles out here literally right outside my tent and I just <laughs> sip the tent up make sure there is no room because snakes the only thing that's on my mind but I thought you know like they've been going at it for like 45 minutes now like this is not stopping and I slept through the entire like no I had no idea yeah literally no idea all four dogs are barking. I mean, plus the five that is coming up the road at this point. <laughs> yeah. And again, I just wanted to sleep through it. So eventually, after a long time, I threw the blanket over my head and I went to sleep. Yeah. Well, then, then this morning. And then I woke up this morning <laughs> and she was asleep. I thought, so yesterday she woke up real early. I woke up at, I don't know, like seven something maybe. And I got up, she was already up. And so this morning I got up. And I kind of looked around and Bandit and the pup were gone. And so I thought maybe I went for a walk. And so I kind of was walking my truck and this is what I saw. And you guys will see another snake right there. So we're pretty sure that's what it was because this was the area. Oh, the exact area, yes. 100%. And that is the exact thing that was playing out in my head. Because again, I saw the dogs, I could see the shadowing. I put my phone against the tent to shine out and I couldn't see on the ground something small enough low enough and yeah. i heard it moving quick 
but the dogs were going at it. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, this morning I got up and uh, I leave food and stuff in the truck. So I went to go get the coffee and I saw a snake. And I thought, well, it's just they brought the snake up from yesterday. You guys saw that we killed. Well, here's this snake that I killed yesterday. And I just brought it over right now to show you that there's that snake, which I'll put next to this one. So two snakes, and as you guys know, we talked about Rufio's face was swollen. Yes. I mean like a balloon yesterday. Yeah. yeah, it was huge. And so we gave him Benadryl, it went down. So we're almost positive now that it was a snake. And that's what I thought maybe in the beginning because I've had dogs in the past that got bit by snakes. So that's why yesterday when we were walking down there, um, for one, I didn't have my snake boots, I didn't have my pants. You I was didn't in sandals. Either. <laughs> and the dogs were all there and that was my first reason of killing the snake. I know snakes like this are not bad, they're good, but when they're in our path, right there with the dogs and us without stuff, I just killed it, got rid of it. There's literally probably hundreds of these everywhere. Not to freak you out, but it's the yeah. truth. And, um, it's okay, reality, let it set in day one. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> day one, I found a snake, and so uh, we're gonna have her eat both of these. I'm just kidding. If they were, <laughs> if they were fresh, maybe. But um, they've been dead too long. But that's the reason why we killed a snake. We basically, knew it really wasn't too much of a threat but the fact that Rufy already got bit and then them killing another one it just proves to me that um i'm okay with what i did so some of you guys had a really really bad time with that yesterday watching that that's fine i get it um i am not into just killing complete innocent animals but if it's right there on our path then we're gonna do what we're gonna do but today we got some stuff to do don't we we do we do yeah yeah, I know that I'm not like all big, strong, huge muscles to do all this hard work that needs to be done around here, but I really have a niche for organization, so I think this place kind of needs that to start with. I think it'll be a good start for uh, day yeah. one. Yeah, so pretty much you guys know that uh, I used to have all the wood stacked up here. It's kind of messy, and I told you all, I don't know, a couple videos back, and I cleaned up, and I kind of got it um, over here better, but... On the back of the house is still messy, stuff still around. So we're gonna spend the first part of the day kind of doing that. I don't know about you, but it's humid. It is oh, humid. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. already just like, oh. Yeah, and, uh, I started out with a chill and it quickly turned into a sweat. Yeah, it's <laughs> pretty quick. So that's gonna be another thing on our project. Maybe maybe today, maybe to, you know tomorrow, something like that, but very, very soon, we're gonna try to build like an outdoor bathroom, shower area. Um, Love that. Do have a woman here now. And so <laughs> it's one of those things that I used to be able to just I can just pee wherever I want to pee. I could uh, take a shower wherever I want to take a shower. But, um, you know, she wants privacy. I want privacy. We, you know, people do happen to drive down. We don't want to just be out in the middle <laughs> yeah, doing our business. <laughs> there you go. And so um, we're going to try to do that. But, guys, if you can't tell, I mean, I'm sweating already just standing here. The yeah. day just started. We haven't even moved. No. So we're going to go and get started. Uh, probably drink some more coffee throughout the day. Keep the energy yes. going. And uh, let's see how uh, good and organized she can get this place. I think so. Ready for it. We'll find out. Woo. All right, guys, as you can tell, pretty hot and sweaty. And uh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we started clearing this out, but um, you're used to working out. Yeah, this is a different type of workout though. This, this is yeah. the off-grid uh, natural workout. I'm not in AC. Nope. I don't have a constant like water station and that like good feel of music <laughs> right now. No, this yeah. is truly just, there is a purpose behind the work that you're putting in yeah and it needs to be done yeah uh, we need to clear this up this is that tree that fell down a while back uh needs to be cleared we're getting firewood stuff like that and uh again we're getting our workout in you apparently she's not scared <laughs> of work i'll say that no not at all she told me she said yeah when i come up there like just tell me what i need to do we'll get it done 
And I thought, eh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I had some faith in her, but <laughs> hey, she's kicking butt. So uh, let me know down in the comments. This is just the start of the day. Yeah. She's already kicking butt. So what do y'all what do y'all think of uh, <laughs> Melissa's work ethic so far? Um, y'all think she'll keep it up? I think she will. I think so. Yeah, but uh, I think today, <laughs> I might just call right now. We'll be at the river today. I'm gonna pray that you said that. Yeah. So, yeah. so at some point we'll Stay go back. On that page. <laughs> we're going back and we're gonna put our swim trunks on. And we're gonna jump in that uh, the pool because today. And it's well earned today. Oh yeah, hot and sweaty day today. 100%. Yeah. All right guys, so as you can tell, we're drenched. <laughs> Bigger uh, stack of wood over here than I expected. Um, we cleared out most of it. There's still a little bit, but I think we're good for today. Uh, yeah, my heart is racing. Yeah, we, uh, work. <laughs> we really kicked butt. I expected just to clean up the plywood and then, uh, can't lie, Melissa's kind of uh, the one saying, hey, let's do this. So it's helping me stay motivated. That's what I need. You guys know I needed that. But I feel like we just took a break. And I'm ready to take another one. I need some yeah, water. 100%. So, I need to yeah. take a bath in my water bottle over there. <laughs> yeah, but we did a lot. Got a huge stack of wood. We even got uh, some twigs and stuff. I don't know if you can see from the shot. Yeah. Uh, Lots of leaves yeah, cleared. Clean, the, uh, clean that out. So, can work. Good with that. So we're gonna go uh, swimming. We're actually gonna get in the river today. So we're gonna air up our uh, tubes and uh, have a little fun. All right guys, so you know that we worked real hard. Ooh, it's cold. For about two seconds. It's pretty cold. Two <laughs> seconds. And uh, yeah, we're gonna enjoy it. Uh, she jumped right in, as usual, <laughs> but we're gonna try to enjoy it. We uh, worked a good amount today, and then uh, we got some dinner we're gonna cook later, but for now, yeah. we've learned, you gotta enjoy the day, and you guys have told me that a lot, so. Yeah. Let's float. That's what we're gonna do. We got the wraps ready. That's right, it's gonna be cold, but uh, I'm ready for this. Again, two seconds worth of cold, and then way worth it. We sweat our butts off Yep, today. so uh, let's get in and see how cold it is. You can't get me all wet. Uh huh. You do whatever you need to do. You're the star her. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Testing it right now. Yeah. Woody May, be careful. So guys, it's still pretty shallow right here, but you can actually grab the rocks and anchor because this uh, <laughs> yeah. current gets you, huh? It definitely does. It'll, Two seconds uh, in and I was a good six feet down. <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll pull you down. So kind of just hold on the rocks, but once you're in it, it's not bad. Not at all. This is pretty no. good. I told you, it'd feel great. This is the first time I've actually got on the water here. I've really? been in the water a little bit. Yeah, I didn't have a float or nothing, so 
You really did just need me to come on down. I did. <laughs> I needed a <laughs> yeah. I needed a party friend. Yeah, work hard, play hard. That's right. That's, Balance. That's definitely our goal: is uh, work hard, play hard. Exactly. Like I'm not here to distract you. Yeah. <laughs> not here to distract you by any means. Yeah. There's still a list of things we plan on getting done up here. Okay? Yeah. But eventually. 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 But It'll for now, done. hey, when you got trunks like this. <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah. yeah, why not? Texas right here. And uh, I don't know if y'all noticed, but she's got glitter all in her uh, thing here. Listen, I sweat all day. I've been sparkling all day long. Why not end it with sparkling my wrath? That's right. I guess the only biggest worry we have right now is our tattoos fading in the sun. That's pretty much it. That's the yeah. biggest worry we have at the moment. Pretty much. Other than that, I mean, you know, or the sunburn that'll come when we oh, yeah. get uh, off the water like we learned last time. Got some lines already, so... She's uh she's getting them as well. Oh yeah, I'm giving the whole new uh, definition to farmer's tan type thing at this point. Yeah, off grid. Off grid tan. There you go. So what would you guys <laughs> think if maybe one day we set up something and y'all come hang out with us at the river? I think that'd be a lot of fun. I think it would be. So what do y'all think if y'all live close to the uh, in between Tahlequah and Kansas, Oklahoma, somewhere in that area? That's I'm not gonna tell you exactly where we're at just yet. But um, yeah, if you're in the area and y'all like to come hang out sometime when we're out here at the river, comment down below. I think it'd be awesome. I think so. Let's make it happen. Look forward to that. Yeah. Let's make it happen. All right, guys. So we are back and uh, she's getting the fire started over here. Maybe. 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 And uh, we're going to cook up <laughs> something we haven't eaten yet out here. BLTs. BLTs, people. Exactly. So off-grid BLTs. We'll see how this goes. I have a lot more food that are like gonna happen out here than he's ready for. Like, he's not prepared for it. Like the basics are just basics, but I definitely enjoy cooking. So there'll be a lot more enjoyable food out here. So I look forward to showing you guys that you can make it happen. You heard it there folks, so I'm gonna be eating good. If <laughs> she can get this fire started. <laughs> hey, look, it's so good on that. So uh, ah, maybe, good. maybe I'll get the fire going and she can cook. Balance. There you go. When I say we're gonna make it happen, it's gas. <laughs> I won't put too much, just enough to get it going. Just walk, keep your hair back. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And luckily we got all these sticks that uh, she we, collected earlier. <laughs> we worked hard to collect together. Yep. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. neighbors are definitely playing the music to enjoy right now. Oh yeah. Let's see if we get some copyright issues going on today, huh? <laughs> exactly. Listen, I don't know what to say to you right now. I'd say I'm cooking you some dinner. I am cooking you some dinner. Right there now. you go. <laughs> With the dog chewing up some bark behind you. Uh, you know, they're always doing something behind me. So, we should probably take this bacon to the fire right now. There you go. Again, I don't know that I've really truly ever done this, but we're doing it. That's the noise I like to hear. Mm. Well, tomatoes being cut next, lettuce being cut next, bread being done. We said we're going to have BLTs and we're going to have BLTs. And the dogs are going to love every bit of us doing this, by the way. Yeah, if we can keep them away. Yeah. They're going to get into our trash like they do, but that's what's going to happen. I got to say, I'm pretty excited. Anything with bacon is awesome. So, this is going to be pretty good. I don't know how you like your bacon, but I like it extra crispy. Oh, so, yeah. I'm going to literally leave it alone and not worry about it, but take the extra bacon that I am not using at the moment and take it away because I know the dogs are going to get it. I learned my lesson already. Yep. <laughs> so, we're going to let this cook down a minute and then uh, cut up the rest of the stuff. I mean, I'm not going to cut my finger. Let's hope that the knife cuts my tomato. What? Yeah. It's dull? Dull. Uh, 
Very much so. But we'll figure it out next go around. I'll just get a better knife with a better blade. Looks like. That's a fillet. Fillet knife right there. Looks like not much has been done with it. Oh, yeah, that's so. I think that's what it is. Because, man, if you look at the tomato pretty close, it is not cut very well. I think we need new knives or uh, something just hasn't been used very well around here. Maybe I've caught so many fish that uh, it needs to be sharpened again. I need somebody to tell me that's true or not. <laughs> I think I've caught enough fish. You guys see me catch fish all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you hear the crickets on that? Yep. Guys? I don't know that that's true. I don't know. So today we went into town, got some stuff to eat. We forgot to get a fishing license. I think it was her forgetting because she knew how to out, uh, fish her. Or it's simply that I remembered everything else while we were in the store and when we got up to the catch register, I mentioned that and at that point we just kind of... Hey! hey, hey. <laughs> Y'all just... <laughs> Did we're way past it so uh the dog just ate some mayonnaise so we're at that point but um yeah <laughs> can't leave anything open around here. no you cannot not with that pup so look at this pup though he's a beautiful baby though you tired oh yeah you played hard oh look at you mama hey pup yeah he's all about it he just wants in it yeah that's the bad thing with uh old pup over here He's a good dog, but uh, he doesn't know better, so he gets into everything. But look at this. We got some lettuce and tomato. Just because you're off-grid doesn't mean you can't eat good. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. So, uh, we no were, excuses. No, we were talking today, and I was like, what should we get? So she has some other ideas to cook. We won't say anything yet, but it's something that I haven't had out here. Um, haven't had BLTs either, so I'm pretty excited. I'm all about cooking. I love it. And I think that's something special that we're going to be able to provide for you at this point now. That hey. was a little different than what was being provided. So. Y'all guys know I ate good. I ate cold cans of soup. <laughs> so a hot meal team might be all right. There might be a little bit more into this meal than there was before. Maybe. So. It's, it's not just pop a top anymore. So No. Yeah. I enjoy cooking. So I am definitely here to provide a little bit more uh, meal there you go. than you had before. There you go. <laughs> She doesn't only clear brush, she can cook. I do. Yeah. There you go. And I enjoy it. I love it. There you go. So, I love to eat. Let's feed your belly as yeah. much as I need to feed mine. I love to eat. I love to eat. And Listen, she loves to cook. I love to cook and eat. Listen, you cannot just say I love to cook. Don't <laughs> yeah. try to mark out the eating on me. There you go. So. All right, guys, we've been using the cedar um, bark that I pulled off the... Uh, post over there and this stuff burns nice and hot so that's going to get it real real hot for that uh bacon to cook and uh use what you got we definitely collected plenty of wood today yeah so. we did there's definitely enough to stick up in there there it goes it's catching after the bacon's done throw the grease onto the fire or around the fire and then throw the bread onto the skillet and let it soak up the fat. That's right. Extra taste. That's good. Mm. So, while we're cooking this, we're gonna kinda talk about some stuff that we have, I guess, kinda planned for the next few days, maybe even tomorrow, is uh, we're gonna try to build like a bed, or bedroom, a <laughs> bathroom, a shower area. <laughs> hey, so a shower area. Um, and kind of a restroom or whatever. So I don't know where we'll put it, but it'll basically basically be like an outdoor shower. And we're thinking it needs to cover at least this high. So if people drive around and stuff, uh, happen to drive by, which they never do, but in case. And then um, it'll be a spot where we could put uh, the restroom. And you brought a shower curtain. I did. What is What's on it? Texas. It actually matches the shorts he wears. There you right go. So I'm so. totally cool with that. We got to represent, uh, even though I am in Oklahoma now, you can't take the Texas out of me. So nope. I think we're going to try to do that. If we went to Lowe's today, kind of looked at some stuff, they had some lumber mm -hmm. and not, not everything yet. we needed. So hopefully they'll have what we need. I'm going to try to plan it out tonight so we can go back in the morning, do that, buy some stuff, get a uh, shower set up. We did get to uh, kind of clean off a little bit in the river today. A lot, actually. Not yeah, a little bit. There's a, 
a lot that needed to be cleaned off. But yeah, tons I, of dirt. I feel great now. Yeah, so. so that was awesome. But I am looking forward to a hot shower, and uh, we're gonna try to get that set up. And then on the uh, tiny house over here, we're gonna try to do some more cedar and stuff like that. So I'm really excited for that. But as of right now, I am super excited for this bacon. I know you guys can't smell it, mm. but I can smell it, and it smells awesome. Look at this, starting to get crispy. Mm. Gotta keep it in all that grease. Gotta keep it in the flame, y'all. Looking good. It is amazing. It smells great right now. Mm. And the flame feels great, even with the oh, sunburn. Yeah. So It's warm. It is very warm, very great. I, I think he's gonna eat pretty amazing. Yeah, no yeah. complaints. Yeah. There better not be any. If there is, <laughs> I'll... What? Continue cooking. That's right. <laughs> Look at all these pups over here. What are you doing, pup? Oh, pup and Bandit and Sawyer and Rufio. Rufio, your face is looking way better, buddy. Way better. Yeah, he actually looks like a puppy dog. Yeah, he got beat up. No more so, snakes. Yeah, no more snakes. Uh, he's doing great. He's way better mood today. But um, got the lettuce and tomato. You're getting the bread ready. I am. Uh, bacon is getting to that point. Pup is over there. He was thinking about stealing some bacon until I turned around. So, I don't know. I'm pretty excited for this, definitely. And uh, I think the one thing I should have done that I messed up on, I should have bought Texas toast bread. Probably. Yeah, could have, should have, would have, but we didn't. So, we're going to embrace the normal. There you go. Because we're just going to go cheap with it. So. There you go. We did. We, uh, we tried to do this on the cheap and to kind of show you guys that even though you don't have power you don't have water and all this stuff you can still eat cool meals and we've been talking about that a lot lately yeah. about different meals that we can cook up and stuff so i'm super excited i definitely plan on bringing that in to things because i love cooking and i definitely think it's an aspect that gets overlooked and i think all the pups want it too so yeah we can't keep them away <laughs> so i'm gonna go check on this bacon but guys we have plenty and i mean plenty of wood as you guys saw earlier we got all this stacked up over here and yes i know some of you're gonna comment snakes are getting under there we're gonna burn a lot of this pretty quick but then we got all this stacked up very very pleased i was expecting to get maybe half that and uh melissa came through helped me knock all this out today our first real day of uh work yesterday was a little more of uh kind of getting to know the area and whatnot kind of breaking her in i don't think she even needed that though no she came in she did good i knew so i guess we'll answer some questions because a lot of you ask questions so as you guys know yes i was married we did not cheat or anything no. of that nature we had been friends for three years now yeah. And uh, it just happened that our paths went this way and then came back, and that's pretty much where we're at. Um, yes. She's been in a tiny houses for a while. I've been in tiny houses for a while when we first met. It's what we talked about for a long time. Yeah. And uh, again, social media was the only connection between us. So again, yeah, pretty much we for didn't three years. Talk so much, but yeah, we saw what was happening in life. Oh so yeah, it is crazy that you truly did start making it happen, and yeah. I just happened to have the open door where fear finally just went to the sideline and he encouraged that I should uh, be here. Yeah. I mean, I, I wanted to be here and it literally was just a, a moment where you seem to have the same sense as me and it connected. So yeah. again, we are out here showing that you can make it happen. It is something you can truly make a reality. There is no excuses that should be in your way at this point because I thought every excuse and you were making it happen and yeah. i mean it's not ideal in a sense of it's got everything but a sense of freedom though 100 yeah. percent. and i think that in a sense is truly priceless yeah and that's why today because you guys have been telling me like don't kill myself doing all the stuff and i really didn't want to go down the river by myself and all that stuff but having her here it's a little bit better and there's i mean we we didn't film it because it's you. I don't want to film other people's kids, but it was an awesome moment being down mm -hmm. there with Gypsy. There was these kids and they were playing with yeah. uh, her and all the stuff, and it was just a cool moment, kind of sitting back, seeing that after a long day of work, and it's just awesome to me. And and, and amazing. Yeah, and finally I have someone to experience this with. So yeah. 
it's awesome and but what's the most awesome moment of all this is bacon <laughs> let's look at the bacon look at the bacon look at that it looks and smells amazing uh, right now yes and i'm totally just gonna let it continue sitting there because i said crispy is butter yeah. so what what's y'all's uh what's y'all's opinion bacon preference bacon <laughs> crispy or softer Definitely, uh, I'm into the crispy. 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 So, crispy. what do y'all think? <laughs> crispy or softer? So, we're going to go ahead and let this uh, do its thing. And then, okay, luckily, the dogs haven't eaten the rest. I was smart enough to cover it. She did. Let me just remember. I looked over and I didn't see it, so uh, yeah. she covered it up. So, I we're, we're going to do that, and then uh, we're going to eat. <laughs> All right, guys, so she just got done. Hopefully, that bacon don't fall on that fire. It is not. Almost. Have faith in me. Come on now. A little bit. Listen, like, and not to burn the noses of the pups that want us. There you go. No. We don't have a toaster out here, so. Nope. Skillet pan with the grease that it is. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Boop. And it's probably not the favored with an audience, but I do everything without my hands at this point. So hey, that's why we get along. Yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure I'll wear some glasses at some point when pieces of wood are being thrown somewhere, but yep. and some gloves. I'll wear gloves. Safety third. But yeah, it, it comes second at least. I mean, we're inching in the right direction. Pups, right. keep your noses out of the fire. Come on. I know you want that. Looking pretty good though. <laughs> got some toast going. Got some loving on the dogs. Oh yeah. All the best things in life happening at once right now. That's right. Come on. Right hand for the pups, left hand for the bread. So what are y'all's, uh, some of y'all's favorite meals that y'all uh, cook op over an open flame? Um, I can honestly say I've never had BLTs. Nope. Like this? And I'm sure it's going to be amazing. The bread over there is just soaking up that grease. I'm going to make sure these dogs aren't going to get into our bacon and lettuce and tomato over there. But we were talking earlier and pretty much we were talking about the uh, garden. Yeah. You're into all that stuff that we're growing, huh? I definitely am. All so, the spiciness. Yeah, so uh, we got some banana peppers and jalapenos already ready to pick again. Uh, if you guys watched the Sawyer's video, if you haven't, it's Sawyer Ridge Farm. I'll try to link it down below if I remember but they uh, kind of made me eat a jalapeno right there on the spot, and it was, ooh, I don't do too much hot stuff. I love spicy. Oh. I am all for spicy. I am all for also incorporating it into meals. Yeah. So. so, yeah, we'll see how it goes with all that, but uh, let's go ahead and cook this up. The dogs are barking, and uh, I'm ready to eat. <laughs> Definitely. All right. The bread's almost done. There you go. So as you guys can tell, cooking here, all my dogs are right there because uh, they don't normally smell this, and then... Her dog's over here. So uh, I think my dog know what's up. <laughs> I think your dog just is just used to it. I think she's used to it. Yeah. Mama eats and she definitely knows that she does not have to be right next to me to get a piece. She will always get a piece. It's the whole like mom eats a bite, she eats a bite. Yeah. So. But when have you seen my dogs lay there innocent like that? Not never. I guess they know a good meal's coming. <laughs> hey, if they can all agree on it, must be doing something right. Exactly. So. Definitely looking forward to really good meals, really quick ones as well. Yep. Easy, cheap, and ones that you can do right here. So. Yeah. I think the toast is just about done at this point. A little more flame underneath there. Get a little crisp to that toast. It's like it came right from the toaster. Yeah. So where'd you get all your cooking skills from? My mama. Yep. Yep. Mama taught me everything. I love the kitchen, and that is just one of those things. I feel like I embraced it, loved it, wanted to always explore it a little bit more, and I've always enjoyed cooking. So and shout out to Mama. Shout out to Mama. There you yeah, go. Thank you. All right. Got that <laughs> that mayo, that uh, or miracle what the dogs love so much, huh? Listen, they love just about anything at this point. We're going to keep it right on the skillet so it stays nice and hot. Mmm, y'all smell it? I know he does. I do. Well, it's mine? Yeah, it's all yours. Right, all right. 
pretty excited about this. I am too. So are the dogs. They seem to yeah. already, according to Pup, he's already done tested it out. It's safe to go. He's still alive. All right. You ready? Yeah. Toast Cheers. to toast. <laughs> toast. <laughs> toast to toast. Yep. It's a good BLT right there. I think old mm. Jerry Crocker can't cook this good. I'll say that. <laughs> On an open flame, I think we can make it happen. Yeah. So well, that's it actually might be a little messy, but it's okay. Cause that's the hard part of uh, cooking over an open flame is constantly have to put more heat on there and stuff like that but that uh cedar bark i think that's the trick i think that's the trick get the heat up real quick but uh i don't know i don't, I don't see jared's dogs i don't know if y'all can see them yeah you can see them now <laughs> i don't ever see jared's dogs do that so uh i think i just found someone that can out cook jared what do y'all think and on a dime too uh, mm -hmm. that's the best part mm -hmm. so we're gonna eat this we're gonna call a night it's clearly dark, and uh, we're just gonna enjoy the rest of the night. Get busy again tomorrow. Try to keep the dogs out of this. <laughs> but guys, thanks so much for watching. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button or the notification bell, please feel free to do that. What are you guys thinking of Melissa being on here? And just so you know, I spelled her name correctly. A lot of y'all were uh, trying to correct me and saying I misspelled it. He actually did correct. There you go. It is definitely me, Lisa. There you My go. dad thought he was super special when he named me, so it's yep. not a, not the normal way. Yeah. Not two S's. Unique. Yep, unique. There you go. So here I am. Thank you for <laughs> hey. spelling it the correct way. That's right. Thank you. So uh, guys, we're going to call it a night. We're going to eat this. We're going to relax. We're going to have a good day tomorrow. A lot more work and uh, hard work equals you got to play hard too. So work hard, play hard. And eat amazing on the way. That was right. So we're going to go ahead and do that, eat this, and uh, call it night, guys. So I'm going to turn this camera off because I'm going to finish eating this. And I don't know. We'll see what we get into. Sorry. Speechless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. See you all tomorrow. Happy.